Hey, Being at Work listeners, I've got a leadership challenge to share with you today that I think will be relatable to many. I'm facilitating a leadership development workshop for a group of executives. And following a workshop recently, I received an email from one of the participants asking for some guidance on this specific issue. He's brand new to his role. And he asked, how do I manage my team members' expectations and be the person they need me to be so they can get to be the best they can be? He then went on to laugh and say that he knew that it sounded like a word salad, but it made sense in his mind. And it makes sense in mine as well. Because I have experienced this challenge and I also know him and I know how thoughtful he is about being a good leader. So I know where his heart is in the question. He cares a lot and wants to do right by his team and his organization. But here's the thing. So he's wondering about like managing their expectations and being who he needs to be for them. But he has never been in a people leadership role before. So I encouraged him to start with him and get really grounded in who he is as a leader, to clarify his leadership philosophy, to clarify what he most values as a leader. Then he'll have a foundation from which to engage with not only his team, but with all of his stakeholders. From that place, he can talk with his team members about their expectations. He can seek to understand more fully. He'll be more confident standing in that space of asking questions. He can do some real good work around getting to know them personally because he knows himself. Only by knowing himself and by knowing them can he connect the dots and show up in a way that's most helpful for them. So yes, leaders, we must press in to knowing our team, but we also must know who we are, be anchored in something so that we can engage in those conversations with stability and confidence. So here's to managing new team member expectations by first managing yourself. Who are you? What do you want? What do you most value? You bring the answers to those questions with you into every interaction. So it's important to know what you're bringing before you engage. What a great way to take care of yourself and ultimately each other.